And Monday means time for Chamber Talk. Lee Munts in for Steve Smith. Smitty has uh, taken Monday and Tuesday off for a second straight week. I said I got to get to this three-day work week thing. <laughs> that that would work for me. Save me up, too, Lee. Yeah. Save up those vacation days and work Wednesday through Friday and say it's time for another weekend. Pretty, pretty good uh, gig if you can get away with it. But anyway, Nancy Morrissey from the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce uh, with our Monday morning spotlight that we call Chamber Talk. has been going a long time. I it was before me, and I've been at the chamber for over twenty years, so it yeah. goes back a long, long. And of course, ways. Bob Phipps, Mike Brewer. Mike Brewer, and I don't know if Mike was the one who started it, or if it was Might have before been. that. Might have been. Yeah. Mike and and I saw Mike. Uh, oh gosh, uh, well, it was during the visitation for Lori Woody. So, oh, yes, yeah, so it was we good to gone. see him. Yeah, and that um, yeah. Uh, just sad, sad. Yes. very, very sad. But happier times right now. Uh, things going on at the chamber. Lots going on. We're getting ready for our um, leadership fair, fair field. So, um, if if you're thinking about uh, taking part in leadership Fairfield, uh, there's still time. The deadline for that is August first. Uh, it'll start on um, March. I'm March. <laughs> You're jumping ahead. Oh my goodness. Sakes. Jumping back. <laughs> <laughs> September 23rd will be the opening session with the uh, first session on the first Tuesday in October. But uh, the applications are due by August 1st. So if you are still waiting to get that in, please bring it into the chamber. You can also fax it at 472 6510. If you need an application, they're online at fairfieldiowa.com or stop in the office or we can fax you one too. Uh, we have, I think, 16 registrants so far. This is a program that's been developed by the Fairfield Chamber and Indian Hills Community C C College. So uh, there's still time. All right. So get those uh, applications yes, filled out, yeah. taken care of. You still got time. But if you wait until July 31st, you're going to go, uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's tomorrow, August Time's 1st. Time's just slipping away. <laughs> that's for sure. The summer's flying. Yeah. So what's going on this week? Well, we have a new chamber member, and it's the Transcendental Meditation Information Center. It's on North Main. I think the address is 110 North Main. Um, the Transcendental Meditation Information Center provides information on all the services offered by the Maharishi Foundation, by MUM, uh, the Maharishi School, and branches of the Transcendental Meditation Organization, which have their national campuses and headquarters here in Fairfield. Field and Maharishi uh, Vedic City. Um, if you have a question, if you want to learn about meditation, about MUM, which stands for Maharishi University of Management, this is the place to go. More information and contact information um, on them. And uh, the contact person is Lark Svensson. She's the manager and the certified teacher of Transcendental Meditation. Their information can be found on our chamber website, which once again is fairfieldiowa.com. Fairfieldiowa.com. Com. Yep. Easy. And we have a member-to-member -member spotlight, Brown Shoe Fit. Uh, if you spend $60 at Brown Shoe Fit, you get 10% off. And have you met the new owner out there? Benjamin. Uh, yes. Benjamin Wag Wagler. Very, very nice young man. Uh, uh, looking forward to ordering more shoes, which, I mean, they're just about in the process of ordering for spring. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but... Um, Brown Shoe Fit has been here in Fairfield since 1935, and they specialize in footwear for men, women, children, dance shoes for little feet. Um, I know all my kids when they were younger, and probably the well, my grandkids now are the uh, ones that are being fit at Brown Shoe Fit. So uh, their contact information uh, for the store and for Benjamin Wagler can be found on our uh, chamber website too, which is. FairfieldIowa.com. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a tandem. <laughs> we are. And they've been around as a company over 100 years. So, yes. Yeah. And yeah. like I said, since 1935 in Here Fairfield. Here in Fairfield, yeah. 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 I mean, that's almost 100 years right there. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Closing in on us. What's happening this week, Lee? You tell me. All right. To starting today is the... Uh, Kadrinka Folk and Modern Dance Ensemble at the Sondheim Center for the Performing Arts. That's at 7.30 tonight, and I think that's Russian. Um, 
if I remember correctly from my rereading on what's happening this week, that's at the Sondheim Center for the Performing Arts tonight at 7.30. I'm sure there's still tickets available. Tomorrow, there's a magic show at the Fairfield Public Library, um, 3 o'clock. Uh, there will be a local musician extraordinaire there, and he will be performing some mind-bending magic, and that is in the library me meeting room, and it's free. That's tomorrow at 3. There is Team Trivia Night at the Orpheum Theater at 7.30. Indian Arc Cor Art Course, uh, Destroying Ignorance Through Love at Icon Gallery at 8 p.m. And then tomorrow night is another Fairfield Municipal Band concert in Central Park, 8 to 9. Uh, of course, if you have information or questions, please contact the Fairfield Parks and Recreation Department. Their contact information can be found on our chamber website, too, which is fairfieldiowa.com. Didn't do it in stereo <laughs> this time. I was waiting. I was waiting. I know. I was, it's funny because I was just looking at uh, Parks and Rec Park here. And, Ray, yeah. Yeah, and lifeguards needed still for the indoor pool. They've got massage and reflexology and a uh, mm -hmm. special event coming up. The uh, I want to say Trojan Dash. Yeah, that's on Saturday, August. 23rd. So again, FairfieldIowa.com, your source <laughs> for information on Parks and Rec. Absolutely. Wednesday, we'll start off with the Go Jindy Mama's Walk at Chautauqua Park at 10 a.m. There's the Summer Reading Pro Program Experiment Time at the Fairfield Public Library, and that's at 2. Then at 2 and 3, at 2, there is a Blue Zone Ambassador visit, um, it's going to be at the Jefferson County Health Center. And then there's also a Blue Zone Ambassador visit at Cambridge Investment Research, and that's at 3 o'clock. And both of those have reached the qualifications and the parameters set by being a Blue Zone site. And... Uh, the cha chamber ambassadors help recognize those chamber members who have reached that. You point. bet. You know what we say when the ambassadors are coming? The red coats the are red coming. The red coats are coming. <laughs> uh, Fairfield Farmers Market at Howard Park, 3 to 6 p.m. This is still Wednesday. Then there's also the Qantas Club of Fairfield Meeting and Program. That's at the McElhaney House at 545. It's open mic night. And the first one is at Cafe Paradiso from 8 to 10, and then at Red Rock starting at 10, Red Rock Tavern. It's also game night at Orpheum Theater at 7 o'clock. And then the Mississippi Valley Regional Blood Center is having a blood drive at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center from 3 to 6.30. Those are all happening on Wednesday. Let's move on to Thursday. We're having an ambassador visit at the Orpheum Theater at 11 a.m. You know, they're getting very close to opening up their uh, South Theater there, so they'll be able to show uh, new programming like they're having now, but they're also going to move more into independent films and things like that, too. More, They'll have more options having sure. the two theaters open once again. Then on Thursday night, it's um, Icon Theater. Thursday at the Icon Geek Gallery, they're going to have Hemingway in Cuba film. And the doors open at 7.30 and uh, at 8 is the film. And once again, that's uh, free to mem members. And there is a slight cost to cover refreshments for people that do not belong. Sure. But everyone is invited. Friday. The Rotary Club meets at noon at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club. And then there is going to be Thanksgiving in July, and it's going to be a trivia night. Uh, and it's going to benefit the Lord's Cupboard. And you're asking, where is this? It's at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, 730 Friday night, Thanksgiving in July, Trivia night. Sounds like a fun night. Um, attendees are encouraged to bring canned or box goods uh, that have not expired to the event to donate to the Lord's Hubbard. There's going to be beer, soft drinks, and snacks. Uh, there will be a 50 50 raffle. So, once again, if, if Thanksgiving in July at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center at 7 30 Friday night. Saturday is Fairfield Farmer's Market, and uh, there's going to be the Flavina Drum Troupe. That's at Howard Park, 8 to 1. Sunday is the Irish Jam with Tim Burton. Tim Britton. Tim Burton. Tim Burton is the... Uh, 
director who did Nightmare on Oh yeah. Um, Christmas Eve. What was that? Um, He's done all kind of yeah. things, but I'm thinking of the scary, scary one of things. Giving. Anyway, it's Tim Britton who's going to do the Irish Jam at Cafe Paradiso from 3 to 5 on Sunday. What's happening this week at the Orpheum besides what I m- mentioned? The show's showing is The Chef, and that's Monday and Tuesday uh, for, at nine, 9 o'clock, Wednesday at 3 and 9, and Thursday at 9. Uh, there's also showing Obvious child that's monday and tuesday at 7 p.m wednesday at 1 and 7 p.m and thursday at 7 so that is what's happening here in fairfield all right lots happening of course first friday art walk is a week from friday it is first of august and then uh first of august that's a week yeah a week and a half away yep yep and then in August, the leadership applications are due. We're having a business after hours at Sunnybrook Home Care. Uh, the all-teacher reception is on August 26th. Uh, school starts in September. Yeah, after, after Labor Day. Year. Yep. Yep. So they'll start the Tuesday after Labor Day, and then the very same week on Thursday is our farm barbecue looking ahead quite a bit. But everybody mark your calendars for that. And of day course, too. Saturday the 30th will be the rescheduled Fairfield celebrating 175th birthday at oh, Waterworks yes, Park. Yes, yes, yes. So it'll be a 4th of July kind of uh, activities on Labor Day weekend. We were out of town that, uh, that session, so we're, I'm glad. Yeah. Not that I'm glad it no, was no. canceled at all, right, but. Right. Um, but now we'll be able to see it. Oh, I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah. The fireworks, I yeah. know, are going to be, well, they're supposed to be the best they've ever been. That's so. awesome. Yeah. And it'll be out over the, the pond and the yeah. reservoir at Waterworks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they'll have music, uh, food, uh, activities for children. It'll be the same thing that was planned yes. on the 5th of July, it's just Saturday, August 30th. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. I was down at St. Louis getting, I was in the crowd sitting and waiting for the fireworks to start that night listening to music down there at uh well forest park just right next to the zoo and i get a call from somebody here in fairfield do you know fireworks are going on tonight i said well they are where i'm at but i don't know about fairfield because it was raining all day back here of course so yeah yeah had to yeah. defer to well you got to check with somebody in fairfield i was out of town too <laughs> yeah i i um it would have been super if everything could have happened the way it sure. was because two great events happening then the art walk yeah, and yeah. and the celebration uh, unfortunately um the first friday's art walk it just fell right on when fourth of chill flight yeah and and everything went fine on the friday because it yes. was gorgeous on, yeah, on yeah. the friday that weekend but anyway yeah it's rescheduled and again uh, planned to be uh, most people will be kind of you know, winding down from the summer because that, of course, uh, school starting on the Tuesday after that weekend. So, probably will be well attended. I wonder how many counties are doing that this year. I, I mean, it's it's a mm, I if a law, I guess, that you're supposed to start school uh, after late right. Labor Day, but they give uh, waivers to counties that apply for it, and I think. Every county over the years has applied for that. Right, that exemption. Yep, that exemption in uh, Fair Fairfield, and I don't know how many uh, others are going back to yeah. starting when the more it's, traditional. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. I know. Um, when I was growing up, we always started after right Labor Day in Ohio. Uh, I don't remember in Kick growing up if. I, I just don't recall whether we did it after Labor Day. It's hard for me to even remember what I my know. Own kids did here in town. I, I'm right? pretty yeah. sure they were in August when yeah. they started yeah. here, but I would not put my hand on a Bible and swear to that. <laughs> Isn't that awful? I don't I remember. <laughs> well, it gives people, again, the chance to do their summer vacationing right up until that Labor Day weekend. And, of course, um, there was one other aspect of it I was going to mention. The State Fair. My, my, oh, I mean, that's one, it. That, one exactly. year, exactly. school was starting when the State Fair was yeah. still going on. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Really. Right, I right. Mean, there you want kids to be involved. Exactly. In, 
showing everything at the state fair and going or seeing as a family. what's up there exactly. in family time and yeah yeah this, that, is, that, this you, is very nice you read my mind and i'm, I'm <laughs> thankful because it went out of mine right into yours <laughs> all right well again fairfieldiowa.com the website 472-2111 the number for yes, fairfield is. chamber yeah. and uh hey mention real quick uh, we've got just a minute here before sure. we wrap things up who else uh, works at the chamber office that they'll oh, find over there Lindsay mcmartin uh she uh is here sometimes if I happen to be gone. Uh, she's a wonderful asset to the chamber, uh, very friendly, outgoing, knowledgeable, hard worker. Uh, she also works part-time at hy V, uh, and she um, and her significant other are doing Pearl's Produce, uh, which is uh, organically grown produce that is being sold at hy V also. All so, right. Yeah. Well, just um, we go ahead and mention... Uh, who else helps people at the Fairfield Chamber office? All our volunteers. Where would we be without our oh. volunteers and our and and our our board? And, you bet. Yeah. Yeah, Marion and I talked about this morning. You know, Rag Bride starting this week, and of course, Fairfield got rave reviews for yes. their overnight stop last year, and that was because of hundreds of volunteers. Absolutely. Couldn't even begin to name all the Fairfield people. Fairfield is known for its solid base yep. of volunteers. All right, Nancy. Well, I am assuming Steve will be back with you next Monday. I've enjoyed <laughs> the two weeks with you. Very nicely. Thank you. That's Nancy Morrissey from the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce wrapping up Chamber Talk for this Monday.